Hello and good afternoon. So for today, we will continue with our lecture, which is uh, the native versus web-based user interface, as well as the carry principles and the element of mobile user interface design. So first we look into the carry principle. So as defined by Barbara Ballard in 2009, the carry principle means that the user typically will carry the device everywhere all the time. And this is in agreement with the mobile user characteristic, where the mobile user is mobile and can move everywhere all the time. So the carry principle has the implication on device as well as the application that are developed on the device. The form factor of the device must be small enough to ease portability and make it easy to carry. It is small and as it is portable. And then it has features that are tightly integrated in a single board, which is it does not have any external equipment attached to the device. Everything must be included inside the single board or within a tight package. And then the user interface must be able to fit within the single screen. And then if the user interface is wieldy, it must be developed so that the user interface can be full or slight into view in order to save space and increase readability. So this is why we have material design principle in Android, where it treats every user interface as a card or as a piece of paper, which can be full, and then which can be slide around. And then a uh, uh, mobile device are also proliferate, which is a personal always present device needs to match the user needs, desire and personality reasonably well. And then it is also identifiable. And then uh, the mobile device might cater to user availability. This also in agreement with mobile user characteristic, which is availability. The mobile user is always available when they are using mobile device. Even when they put their mobile device in standby, the main intention of purchasing a mobile device is to make yourself available always, all the time, and ubiquitously available. And then, the mobile device user are sociable. So this is also in agreement with mobile user characteristic that is sociable because uh, you have an always available connection and then this element of sociability must be integrated inside the mobile application. So, a uh, certain social experience may be in included such as sharing, okay, sharing item, or sharing uh, experience such as dining, okay, dining or eating together, uh, like uh, in form of checking into the place or tagging friends whenever they are in social settings such as attending birthdays or in a class learning together. So this would make a social experience with mobile device a modified experience. So as a mobile developer, you need to be uh, very alert in such a social queue, which can be included inside your mobile application. Because user nowadays would expect your, that your mobile application would provide for the social behavior integrated right into your mobile application. Things like tagging has become already basic. Uh, sharing, okay, sharing item, okay, very basic uh, things. But uh, you can also invite your friends to join in the meeting or join in a dinner. Or uh, in most modern application, you can also invite a friend to watch uh, you do exercise. Okay, and then you can also invite a friend to split up your bills. Okay, this is in case for Maybank MEE application. Okay, next we look into the differences between native versus web-based user interface or native versus web-based mobile application. 
So the mobile web application is easiest to learn and cheapest to produce. And then it uses and depends on the internet and hypertext transfer protocol, application layer protocol. And also it is based on the World Wide Web Consortium standard, okay, which you can find in this URL. Okay, you can read uh, about mobile application for web from the World Wide Web Consortium website. And then one of the advantage of mobile web application is that it does not depend on any single mobile platform. So it does not depend on any type of mobile operating system or platform. So it is platform neutral and it resists platform proliferation. So it means that when you are developing a mobile web application, you can almost always guarantee that the mobile web application can be executed in many platforms regardless of its operating system. A native application, on the other hand, usually uh, depending on mobile software development kit device platform. And then it may use the internet but does not depend on the internet to be executed. And then it is tightly integrated with the mobile device operating system. It also has a stiffer learning curve when compared to mobile web application. But the advantage of native application is that it has the access to the device, hardware features and sensor much more tightly integrated when compared to mobile web application. So here we look into the advantage of mobile web application uh, in overall. Mobile web based application for mobile application are portable. And then it uses open World Wide Web Consortium Web API. And then it does not depend on a single mobile platform and thus it is resistant towards platform proliferation. So if you are developing a mobile web application, you can rest assured that your application can run on Android, on iOS, on KaiOS, or even on BADA operating system regardless of its platform. You can ensure that your mobile web application are not dependent on the mobile uh, on the mobile platform that uses different runtime or different operating system. And then additionally, the mobile web application are also easier to develop and manage because you only have a single source code compared to the native application where you might have multiple source code. However, the native application also has its own advantages when compared to the mobile web application that is native application have direct access to the native api layer which means that it is fast okay it is faster than mobile web application and then it is tightly integrated with the mobile platform user interface and api so it means that it is much more seamless okay the user will find the animation are uh, much more seamless Graphics are much more clearer and the transition are much more smoother when compared to mobile web application. And then a native application can also support offline users and does not necessarily depends on internet or data connection. Additionally, mobile native application can access multitude of hardware sensor and features not limited to camera, light sensor, barometer, temperature sensor, battery sensor, and then extra. So, in general, mobile native application is far more superior than mobile web application. Except that, in native application, you are tied to a single platform. So, you have to choose. Either you want to develop in uh, Android, 
in iOS, in Kai OS, or in uh, Bada uh, operating system or platform. So if you want to for your application to be available to multiple platform, then you need to develop multiple application. So means that you have to have your application developed for Android and then a separate application of the same of your same software must be also developed for iOS. So that's why when you look into Facebook application or Instagram, they actually develop a multiple application that support each of the mobile platform instead of they only develop single application they actually develop multiple application to ensure that their application would be available on multiple platform so the question is that when to make a mobile web application so a uh, mobile web application has its own advantages so sometimes you do not want to invest too much on the native application when you want to launch your application on a new platform that have a small user base for example a platform that has a small user base such as sky os and also bada os so that uh, are kind of the example of platform that have a very small user base so you do not want to waste your effort and also your resources to develop a dedicated native application to cater solely for that platform. So what you can do is to develop a mobile web application to cater those user. And then mobile web application can also be used to provide a fallback option to user who does not own a native application or who does not wish to download and install native application. So if you look into your Facebook application and Instagram application, you will notice that you can also use um, or access your Instagram account or Facebook account from your browser. And then your browser will display the Facebook uh, website as if it is a native application. Except that it is a mobile web application. And then additionally, you can also install your mobile web application in your mobile devices. This we will look later in the lab session. So if you look in uh, Instagram application, you will see that your Instagram application can be saved or can be installed in your mobile device even if it is a mobile web application. So thus, mobile web application can provide a fallback option to the user who do not wish to install the native application because it takes space to install the native application. And then, uh, mobile web application is also ideal to the new developer who want to focus solely on the application services and connectivity and application functionality instead of focusing on how to implement those uh, functionality on a mobile device platform. So instead uh, of they want to waste the time trying to figure out how to develop a um, native application on a native platform, the developer can focus solely on their application functionality. Okay, for example, like in FYP, in final year project, you want only to focus on your functionality instead of wanting to learn one by one uh, about the rigor of developing a native application on Android device. So, that would give you a lot of headache. So, this is also a good use case or good argument on when to use mobile web application. You can solely concentrate on your application service instead of uh, uh, having headache how to figure out how to use the programming languages uh, on a native application. And then uh, another advantage is that to separate the application from native mobile platform, 
where uh, whereas the mobile web application are always guaranteed to work on any device that have a compatible web browser so in this situation a compatible web browser is a web browser that support html5 right and html5 and next we will look into a mobile hybrid web application so a mobile hybrid web application is derived from heterogeneous sources means that it is a mix okay, a mixed application so a hybrid application is usually written with the same technology for web implementation but it runs within a native application container so therefore a hybrid application can access native mobile application features such as cameras sensors and can receive or make calls on the behalf of the user without sacrificing its uh, portability across different platforms so a hybrid application is a combination of mobile native application and mobile web application so why you need a uh, hybrid web application because there are certain company or governmental organization wants to develop a single application that can be deployed across multiple platform okay such as an application like e penjana okay some uh, of the application uh, like that or my Sejahtera application they would prefer to develop it in hybrid web application because they only need to develop the application once and then that application can be deployed on popular platforms such as iOS and Android in a short amount of time okay within a short time so a hybrid application is also designed to be portable in a source code form which can be compiled to produce different binaries or different uh, software packages for other mobile platforms so the example of a hybrid mobile framework we have uh, the most popular one are cordova or phone gap okay this one you can access it from xamarin uh, microsoft okay microsoft visual code you have a toolkit named xamarin so xamarin uses cordova and phone gap and then there is also another layer of cordova or a new uh improved version of cordova by a private company we have ionic ionic framework so now we have ionic uh version 4 okay upcoming of the ionic version 4 which uh also can be accessed from this website so if you look into ionic you know that the ionic can be written ionic application can be written in uh, javascript and also html5 and then it can be compiled to produce different software packages to deploy for other mobile platforms such as um, mobile web application and then uh, Android and then iOS. So a hybrid application also uses uh, similar web technology such as mobile web application like HTML5, JavaScript, CSS, and also part of the mobile application uh, layer or scripting language in Node.js to build a hybrid uh, application. Okay, this is a summary on when to use native application, mobile web application, and also hybrid application. So these are the two axes. If you want more, uh, access to the device capability then you have to choose native application so more access to the device capability means that you want to use fingerprint sensor and then you might want to use acceler accelerometer and then you might also want to use um gyroscope or the barometer okay to measure the air pressure inside your mobile devices so you are suggested to use native application Sometimes certain graphic uh, heavy application also benefits from uh, native applications such as Instagram because they use filters, graphical filters and cameras that uh, might need an access to the GPU of your mobile device. 
to such access to the GPU to the mobile device might need the use of native application. Okay, the GPU inside the uh, mobile device are called Adreno. So if you want to direct access to the GPU of the mobile device, then native application may might be the answer for you. However, if you want more platform platform affinity or platform compatibility or you do not want to develop your application multiple times for to support uh, many platform then the mobile web application might be the answer for you so mobile web application is flexible because it can be executed on any compatible html5 browser okay such browser might be chrome okay chrome which is available on many platform or Safari, which is uh, available on um, iOS devices or Firefox Lite, okay, which also are uh, cross-platform uh, browser. So these uh, mobile web applications are guaranteed to work on any platform as long as the platform has a HTML5 compatible browser. So if you do not use uh, uh, a lot of sensors, and then if your application do not have access to fingerprint sensor, especially or flash uh, from your mobile device's flashlight, or you do not intend to perform a CPU or GPU intensive process, then mobile web application is the answer for you. Contohnya macam application yang Hanya buat pengiraan zakat. Ha, contohnya kamu nak buat application untuk kira-kira zakat. Ataupun untuk laporkan kerosakan. Okay, ambil gambar lapor kerosakan. Ha, application macam tu saja. Very simple application. Then, uh, it is suffice if you just develop it as a mobile web application. Okay, uh, now uh, we also have somewhere in between. That is hybrid application. So hybrid application have the cross-platform affinity and written on the web technology language. And it also have access to the native API. But uh, for some developer, they do not uh, prefer hybrid application because the hybrid application sometimes are considered as slower when compared to the native application. And then for some hybrid application, certain API are not compatible with certain other platform. For example, the fingerprint API might work differently in iOS when compared to Android. So the Android uh, fingerprint sensor are much more open when compared to iOS fingerprint sensor or touch ID sensor. Okay, we look into the exercise for today. So try uh, to compare and contrast between miniaturizing and mobile, uh, mobilizing application. Okay, this is for the previous videos. And then describe two advantages of mobilizing application. And then briefly explain the concept of native, mobile web, and hybrid mobile application. And then explain one situation where an implementation of mobile web is advantageous. Okay, di mana uh, mobile web application adalah mempunyai kelebihan tersendiri di mana kamu boleh develop mobile web application ini. And then describe the advantage of developing your application as a native mobile application. So that's all for today's uh, lecture. We seeing you next on the other videos.